Hey, why not check out these podcasts to do with disability? Access Point with Liz Malone. Tagline is where dialogue between the mainstream and disabled communities meet. Access Point's hopes to foster real conversations and bridge the gap between the two. Launched in 2015, Access Point aims to empower listeners to discover, learn, share opinions and ideas and sensibility. Inclusion, inclusion, acceptance, understanding. At the microphone is Liz Malone, who lives with degenerative retinal disease called Retinitis Pigmentosae, diagnosed at age 20, declared legally blind by 30. Malone proudly serves as an advocate for blind and visually impaired. When I started podcasting, I went to, into it without thinking about who I was start, trying to target, but rather what message I wanted to send. This plays well known. I wanted to be able to discuss topics focusing on disability in an open, honest way which appealed to just about anyone. It had been so, I had listeners from all around the world, various demographics, I found to be both surprising, entertaining, and promising. This eight episode interview driven podcast showcases various resemptors of the disabled community and discuss a range of topics. Past episodes include talking with kids about disability. Inclusion projects, design, and tech and web accessibility. I often hear that for my listeners are moved by the fact my guests and I speak from the heart. That's my own. Some programs provide entertainment, while others provide entertainment education. My podcasts tend to leave the listener with a feeling. Breaking dishes with Lisa Malone. With Liz Malone. I don't know Liz, uh, at this point, was break limited run podcast. My own launched her second podcast in May 9, 2019 called Breaking Dishes for Long-Term Energy Restorations. You'll find Breaking Dishes on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher and other debt podcast platforms. This interview-driven and more discussion-based Breaking Dishes continues forward and covers a broader spectrum of topics with Malone. Not only includes disabled themes, but more diversity themes. As she is a woman living with disability, she is a racial minority, and she is an interracial adoptee. Showing both a vulnerable and kick-ass attitude, Malone gets real in breaking episodes. This is episode one, New Beginnings. She was dealing with vision loss. It was definitely the most challenging experience of my life. At times when I did not handle the vision loss very gracefully. It was a process. There was a mourning period. I had to let go of the woman I used to be. I had to say goodbye to being an excited person. But over time, with very meditation, cancelling mentorship, I just set my new identity. I learned to thrive to be a real, uh, be a blind person. I meant invented myself, reinventing myself, tapping into talents and repurposing them, reminding myself that I, uh, I'm worth with uh, I have worth surrounding myself with people who are good to me. I have good for them. I is truly the ultimate new beginning for my personality. Noting how podcasting was crazy to be fantastic plot for all voices, Malone says she feels humbled to be accompanied with some other content creators. The goal with this first in the landscape. I wish creating new great new podcasts was enough, she adds, but it's also need to build awareness within your community that their these topics are important and they need to support one another's work. Disability Matters with Joyce Bender. Every Tuesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, you can listen to Joyce Bender, an expert guest, talk about competitive employment and empowerment of people with disabilities. Techniques of Talk Road show on, on voiceradioamerica.com not a podcast it's still worth tuning in to every week true to its mission the audience disability matters matters is open caption for the deaf community launched in 2004 deaf disability matters has joined an amazing 700 episodes so far and primary prominent disability leaders such as congressman tony Calaro, primary supporter Sponsor of the Americans from Disabilities Act, Governor Dick Fonburn and Anthony Imparjo, Executive Director of the Association of American University Centers Disabilities. Experts discuss how people with disabilities can do move full employment, sustain a long term career, and make a positive impact. On the flip side, they also address how others, including employees, can benefit hiring people with disabilities. Brenda herself is an expert for 20 years of experience. 
running disability, employment, and expertise as a consultant. She focuses on recruitment, workplace mentoring, strategic, strategic planning, training in digital accessibility, tapping into the network of thousands of disability and epidemic institution partners, as well as the database 2000, 27,000 qualified cadet candidates with disabilities. Though as a show that targets people with disabilities, focus and federal agencies also appeals to anyone interested in learning out more about the disability rights community. Ben explains the goal is to this show is show an increase in visible employment of people with disabilities, break down stigma and educate our, our communities. There are hundreds of people episodes which rank, which ranks high with listeners. We have a Show ten show data for each week, and number one is Tony Cosico, site bender. Other fans' favourites include roots with CEOs, janitors, celebrities, and such as Jenny Flay Faro from Microsoft. While disability matters, shares perspectives from business leaders, government officials, and disability advocates to how to move the needle on disability employment. It's still what to be done. I'm surprised that after 15 years, the employment rate is still double the people without disabilities. And this next year, the 30th anniversary, the signing of ADA. And Brenda points out, a long-time on-air influencer, Brenda Bender understands how she's hoping to drive a movement of inclusion media and says she feels honoured to show the host his show to make, have the opportunity to change lives and educate anyone within the disability community. I live with epsi, so it's important, she says. Bender tips the hat to Highmark, the show's lead sponsor, for three years. I think, I think that when corporations sponsors the show for one year, speak volumes about credibility. Special Parents Confidential with John Pellegrin Brennan, dubbed a resource podcast for parents, special needs children. Special Parents Confidential, confidential launched in 2013 as a part-time basis with John Pagalilli as the host guest show, show's host. The show targets parents of special needs kids, any special needs. The program does not focus on just a particular issue. Adopting he will all this altogether approach, the show also appeals to pe- family members, and relatives, caregivers, anyone with any kind of connection to a person with special needs. I, co- I came about because of our son, who's had some special needs, explained Gregory. We couldn't get a diagnosis, explained all his issues for the first few years. We attended a number of different support group meetings in an effort to learn more. I realised for many parents, attending a support group meeting is nearly impossible. With his 30-year background in radio and audio production, McGarry decided to do a podcast that would serve as a virtual support group, meeting that parents would access at any time they want. I roll with some support groups for facilitator. He says, I get in touch with experts on subject, different subjects and ask the quest, kinds of questions that I, as a parent, would want to know. With 70 episodes recorded already, the podcast aims to fill the airwaves with excellent advice on a variety of issues that parents of kids and special needs face. The show covers common parenting concerns of getting coping with diagnosis, assistance, technology, medical issues, insurance, education, and more. He cites episode 15, applied for favorable analysis, ABA, the most single most donated episode so far. Particular Pago enjoys interviewing adults with special needs and hearing them tell stories of their lives. But like growing up with the challenges, the contrast, how we used to deal with special needs and special education in the past compared to how things are done today shows great improvement, but sometimes we could take some ridiculous steps backwards, he points out. With a backdrop of his career and as a mainstream media, Pellegrini says, I think podcasting is a major shot of life of inspiration. The mainstream media come too corporized and home- homogenized to the point where you hear nothing but the same thing over and over. Podcasting is well done. When done well, and unfortunately some isn't, offers a great variety of subjects that people should know about. One overacting theme that others should know about that lies the powers of kids at special needs. What I hear often is different ways from everyone I talk to. Never underestimate a child with special needs. Pellegrini points out, always assume complacency, because they're given the right, right, right kinds of assistance. They're far more capable than one could imagine. 
Disarming Disability with Nicole Kelly and Sarah Tullenberry. In 2014, Nicole and Sarah met at the camp of them different children called Camp Winning Harns in California, and they became friends ever since. They joined the forces of great disarming disability. Fairly new to podcast scene, the show launched February 27, 2019, and hosts of completed the first season comprised of 13 episodes in three distinct chapters. Disability, history, disability media, how to be an ally. They hope to distract their listeners want to know more about disability, how to make more inclusive society. Do not, we want to emphasize that living with a disability, they're connected to their history and feel empowered in their experience, so explains Kelly. The show's goal to discredit Deconstruct the disability circle of contract by connecting with experts of the disability field to accomplish that they covered a lot of ground for a season. Every fan favours include learning about the host's history as well as the media chapters. The empowerment list says to tackle projects increase the ability to disability. The hosts have given a bit of surprise of the few topics that ranked in polarity. I felt really struck by our media episode with Lawrence Carter Long, who spoke of his light bulb moment when he realised a large society did not think of him with experience as an equal as those with different bodies. Those like us were better off were better off dead, recalls Tomary, knowing how it stirred our anger. Feeling the anger made me realise that we do we had to do something. We had to do something. Disability is a social contract. It's based on rules with a society made up. This means we have the power to make rules, new rules. I'm going, using my heated energy in ways I, to build beauty in the world. Meanwhile, Kelly is struck in, stuck by there. How to advocate mental illness episode with Patrick McGowan, a professor who loves data and numbers. He bought the format when connecting with people to change the conversation stigma. He pulled me share our stories, notes Kelly. Data and numbers will never change anyone's mind about a topic, but the power of personal story goes very far. Stressing the importance of intensity, inclusive intensity in media, disarming disability, models, how to do it right. A podcast team, nine members strong, strives to make all the content accessible. So it's given a voice to the disability community through the show, the photos on social media include text options, plus the post transcripts of every episode on their website. We engage with the community and integrate feedback to make our podcast more accessible. That's Kelly. We believe we have the responsibility to show our media how to be inclusive. And we talk, take this job very seriously. Kelly shared one of her favourite quotes from the first season, which pretty much sums up the show's mission. We need to create the space, look around and see who is on the table and who is not, why they do not, why they are not there, and what we need to do to get them there. there.